a couple, they were going away. A couple in the olden days, they were going away. And the only holy book that they had was Quran. Musalmante, Musalmante. And they loved Quran. So they went to the neighbor. They went to the neighbor who was a non-Muslim. And they knocked on the non-Muslim's door and they said to them that this is our holy book. We're going away for a day or two. Take care of our holy book. Take care of our holy book. The husband and wife, which were not Muslim, they take the Quran. Comes night time, they don't know where to put the Quran. So the husband says to the wife, half the night I will stand with the Quran on my head. And half the night you will stand with the Quran on your head. These were non Muslims. What were they? Non Muslims. They didn't have Iman. They were non Muslims. And imagine burning in the fire of hell forever and ever and ever. And if you listen to the ayat in um, Surah. Uh, it talks about the fire. If you were to read the translation of this, trust me, you would never eat a hot meal ever again. In the worry that this is going to happen to any person. Because Allah says, you know, when you get burnt, when we normally get burnt, you get burnt on your skin first or any part of your skin, then it touches your heart. Allah says in this surah, the fire will reach your heart first and then it will come outwards. The fire will reach your heart first, then it will come outwards. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it just doesn't finish there. He says you will be put in metal boxes and they will be locked. There's no escape. There's no escape. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He saved us and He's given us Iman. These people, they stand half the night and then half a the night with the Quran on their head like this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because of the love of the Quran and the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses them with Iman. Allah blesses them with Iman. Now let's flip the coin over. Let's flip the coin. Let's look at me and you. Let's look at me and you. We have the Quran open and we're talking. We have the Quran open and we say, Pakistan with your phone, I see. Allahu Akbar. What a sad car, you're going to get lifted. What a sad car, Pakistan phone, I see, I pay, I see, I pay, I see. The both cost for you. And your Quran's open. Your Quran is open. These are the words of Allah. Udder deco. One of the Quran, itana adab kia, Allah gave them Iman. Allah gave us Iman. But because they adbi of the Quran, do you really think you're going to die with Iman? It's something to think about. Let's talk about the opposite. It's okay everyone saying, MashaAllah, Allah ni Musliman banaya asita jannati jannati. It's okay saying that, but it's not that easy. We have the Quran open, we talk. We have the Quran open, but I'm telling you, I've heard from, I've heard with my own ears, children singing lyrics. Allahu Akbar. I got shot and I fell on the floor. Allahu Akbar. Then what happened? Did you get up? Yeah? You know, you're singing lyrics with the Quran open. Allah is guiding singers, Allah is guiding singers, Allah is guiding rappers, Allah is guiding dancers, Allah is guiding people that are acting in movies. We were born with Iman and we want that. You want to be a rapper? Majority of my class, they want to be a G. They want to be a Don. And they go, you want to be like you? I ain't no Don bro, <laughs> I ain't no G. I just be love of Allah, love of Allah. So look. You have to look at both sides. Look at both sides. Udar ek be iman ko iman mil gaya. Idar ek iman wala. Are you really guaranteed to die with iman? With your Quran open, talking? Are you really guaranteed to die with iman with your Quran open and singing? Are you really guaranteed to die with iman with your Quran open and swearing? Allahu Akbar. Just the other day I heard a swear. This was last week. Last week I heard a swear with my own ears. Where? In our madrasa. We're not going to talk about who it was. We're not talking about that. But the child has learnt it from somewhere. The child has learnt it from somewhere. Where has he picked it up from? The best place the child learns anything is from home. So where has he picked it up from? So I called him. I said, what did you just say? And he says, I said this. And I go, do you know what it means? He goes, I don't know what it means. Why are you using it? Everyone says it. Is that an answer? That's not an answer, guys. So we have to look both sides. Over there, Ekbi Iman ko Iman mil gaya. 
either do you really think you are going to die with Iman, with the lifestyle that we live? <coughs> do you really think? So they respected the book of Allah, Allah gave them hidayat. We disrespect the book, book of Allah, you know the chances of dying with Iman is very less. And um, I was listening to a talk the other day.